what are the basic words please uh, again those people who are not joining with the name today i will not be uh, accepting them so please agar aapka kuch accept nahi ho raha hai to leave on the group so that mere ko mirdulia koi bata dega ki wo kaun hai isko main admit nahi kar raha because bina naam ke aaj main admit nahi karunga to let us uh, understand the preamble so if you understand the preamble the word preamble so we have done the meaning of what do you mean by we the people so we have understand the phrase we the people and while we were understanding this phrase we understand this we the people is gone it shows that indian constitution the sovereignty in reality lies with the people then we have understand that people are sovereign then we have understand the word we the people here by declared ourselves to be sovereign so we have understand the concept of sovereign while we were doing the concept of sovereign we understand the sovereign mean the supreme the ultimate power basically it means that there is a ultimate power when we say ultimate power then we will try to understand what what does this ultimate power mean then we say is this ultimate power firstly we can understand through location right when we understand that what do you mean by it fall or it lies through the location then we understand the concept of that this may lies into the people parliament or the king so it is lying in the people parliament or the king we says indian sovereignty lies in the people we understand this concept completely then through sovereignty only we understand sovereignty by nature by nature to so we understand by nature it can be of two type you know trend federal and we understand that indian sovereignty is basically federal but it is a unique in form that it is a mixture to so general it is general it is federal but it have a unique character of both it's a blend of both federal and blend of both federal and unity we understand this in the last class then we understand the sovereignty have two aspects we understand this also ki sovereignty may have two aspects aspective prospective se humne iske aspects ko samajhne ki koshish ki and when we understand the aspects then we understand that the word aspects when i say it is a uh, please somebody is n a r v nerve someone has written nerve mai usko admit nahi kar raha to agar usko aap online group pe usko inform kar dijiye ki jab tak wo apne naam se nahi karega mai usko admit nahi kar paunga right to isko aspective prospective se humne samjha tha it can be two type इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल इंटरनल सॉवनिटी टू द गवर्नमेंट रिप्रेजेंटेटिव फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट विच मे फॉर्म रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन फॉर देयर वेलफेयर एंड गाइडिंग तो हमने इसको टू प्रोस्पेक्टिव से समझा था कि इसके नेगेटिव एंड से पॉजिटिव प्रोस्पेक्टिव माइट बी देयर नेगेटिव मींस लॉ एंड यू हैव यू आर ऑब्लाइज्ड टू फॉलो इट एंड पॉजिटिव मींस लॉ फ्रेम फॉर द वेलफेयर ऑफ देम 
and external sovereignty we have understand the external sovereignty means state and state relationship so this is what we have done the last time in the class we were doing preamble now we'll go into the next words of the preamble i'm again reading the preamble and we pick up the next word of the preamble and we try to find out what does that word mean anybody having any question may ask no she ha tak sab everything is clear till till this point everything is clear right any question till this point we have completed this in last class so today's class what we are doing let me read the preamble again for you and let's see from which next word we have to pick we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into sovereign socialist that is the next the word socialist is the next in the line that we have to study what do you mean by socialist that means india is a socialist state and this is a preamble declare a preamble declare that we are socialist how many people know what do you mean by socialist arsh what do you mean by socialist batao likh ke anyone can tell what do you mean by socialist what is the meaning of word socialist any person okay arsha says uh, distribution of resources equally then anyone else what do you mean by socialist chali let us see the word socialist yes elimination of inequalities and distribution of resources equality equally very good rashi or anyone else animals have any other concept like this or this uh, apart from this elimination of equality and distribution of resources equally obviously this is absolutely right but now we have to understand the word socialist basically mean the state is supreme this this means the all powers exactly uh, society as a whole but we say society the word socialist means the word socialist represent that all power west into the state that the state is the powerful when i say all power west into the state i mean to say that all the products or that all power west into this means all the products or all the resources of the nations belong to state we we try try to understand we nationalization and state ownership uh, okay we we'll understand all these concepts rita you are also right basic concept so the word socialist basically what does it mean what is indian socialism i am not fo focusing upon indian socialism right now i am focusing upon the word socialist the word socialist means that all the resources of the nation belong to the state and it is a duty of the state to distribute these resources equally it is the duty of state to distribute all resources equally dekhiye samajhiyega baat ko meri baat samajhiye ki the word socialist aapko batata hai ki state have a power state have all the power on all the resources of the nation and it is the duty of the state to distribute this resources theek hai equally so that 
so that it can remove inequalities. Word socialism, word socialist, we say that by word socialist, it means that it is the state who will distribute the resources of the nation equally among the people. That it says it is the duty of the state. to distribute resources of nation equal. This is socialism. This is general socialism. But um, now we will try to understand the how this word socialist is used in Indian context. Because when I say, when I, this is what you people are saying, this is whole world, what whole world is saying. But this concept of socialism, if I understand how you will achieve, how you will achieve uh, this resource equality. But that means state distribution of resources equally. How you will do this? How you will do this? Tell me. Anyone? Okay. If I nationalization state ownership of industry, so much can they and nationalization will be something um state ownership could be something but i'll be so much getting first what we are saying state distribution of resources equally if i say it is a distribution of equality to is key subsequently theory jotina the theory of socialism was given by karl marx That is Karl Marx socialism. I want to understand, make you understand the whole world, what the whole world is saying about socialism, what the Karl Marx, because Karl Marx is the person who first time gave the theory of socialism. And he is, he is the person which says that how you will follow the society, uh, socialism. So Karl Marx, what Karl Marx says, Karl Marx says society consists of two classes. So वो कहता है कि जो society है वो two classes में distributed है and state duty is state duty is to remove this class. This classes. Then I say two classes. That means upper and upper class. Or lower what else upper. When I say upper, just hold it. It means upper class or lower class. Or I can say industrialist or labor. This is the idea of socialism. It society consists of two classes, the upper class and lower class. That is this industrialist and the lower, uh, labor class. And the state is duty is to remove this class. And this he says, how you will remove this class? When we ask the question to him, then how you will remove this class, how this class will get removed? What is the process to remove this class? Then he says, through state compulsion. 
फाइल ओनरशिप एंड स्टेट ओनरशिप प्लीज पूछ लीजिए कोई आलमनाई ग्रुप में भी अगर कोई है प्लीज आस्क हिम कि हु इज द पर्सन ये एन आर एन आर वी के नाम से कौन है जो बार बार कनेक्ट होने की कोशिश कर रहा है बट मैं उसको जब तक नाम क्लियर नहीं होगा मैं नहीं करूंगा प्लीज थ्रू स्टेट कंपल्शन और स्टेट ओनरशिप what they saying what this uh karl marx is ki this class how you will distribute or how you will remove this class system the upper class and lower class you do two thing state compulsion and state ownership when what do you mean by state compulsion and state ownership if they says that they bring compel by compulsion take all the resources from all the class now state compulsion means that state by compulsion take all resources from all classes and then the state will have ownership in all these resources this is what he this is what he called state industrialization or state or nationalization we use this is nationalization or industrialization what he called it nationalization or industrialization of state industrialization by state then he says a state have the power of industrialization aur iske baad once he, he says this is achieve now state will distribute equally now state will distribute equally among all of it's people this is this is what he called this is his socialism this is his socialism how many people understand the karl marx socialism that means uh, karl marx is working upon okay it's ishika kedwal to uh, so i admit it okay please ishika uh, next time please join with your name theek chaliye one thing we we'll make it understand again when we use the word socialism the word socialism what we say is the eliminate inequalities and distribution of resources equally or nationalization or the state ownership of industry or distribution of resources or alim, jo bhi hai words hai to arsh shashri or sarita ne jo bola wo teeno sahi hai but how you will achieve this this is the process do this process of karl marx socialism if this is the socialism do india follow this india does not follow such type of socialism the supreme court in nakara versus versus union of india the supreme court in nakara versus union of india says that indian socialism is not the socialism that is karl marx indian socialism is not indian socialism is not the socialism of karl marx nakara versus union of india mein this says the uh, this 1983 supreme court this says the indian socialism is not the socialism of karl marx rather it is the socialism of rather this says that indian socialism is a gandhian socialism or nehru socialism 
स्क्रीन को क्या हुआ है किस पूजा स्क्रीन को क्या हुआ बताना जरा कौन सी स्क्रीन ठीक करनी है वो स्क्रीन को क्या हुआ प्लीज स्क्रीन क्या दिख नहीं रही है क्या एनी प्रॉब्लम विद स्क्रीन एनी बडी हैविंग प्रॉब्लम विद स्क्रीन बताइए Nakara versus Union of India 1983. Indian socialism is not the Karl Marx socialism. This is Indian socialism is a Gandhian or Nehru socialism. Gandhi or Nehru socialism. Indian socialism is a Gandhian socialism or Nehru socialism. Where is Excel here. This is not working today. I've made a very bad number of problem. Here. Where is an Excel view? The Supreme Court held that Indian socialism. Tends to what nationalization? Indian socialism tilt. Now I will use the word tilt towards nationalism, having Gandhian or Nehru secularism. तो एक्सेल वियर में नकारा ने उसको फॉलो भी किया था एक्सेल वियर पहले आया था नकारा बात किया था वो पढ़ेंगे हम उसको डिफरेंटली डोंट वरी एक्सेल वियर दिस इज इंडियन सोशलिज्म इज टिल्ट टुवर्ड्स नेशनलिज्म हैविंग द गांधीयन और नेहरू सेक्युलरिज्म वेयर एज नकारा सेज इट इज गांधी और नेहरू सेक्युलरिज्म तो बेसिकली अगर इन दो जजमेंट को एक साथ रीड करें तो हमारा कहने व्हाट इंडियन सेक्युलरिज्म इज इंडियन सेक्युलरिज्म इज गांधीयन और नेहरू सेक्युलरिज्म मच गांधी और नेहरू सेक्युलरिज्म so what do you mean by Gandhi or Nehru or democratic? So basically Indian secularism, the socialist, the socialism, sorry, the socialist word that is right. That is the elimination of equality and distribution of resources. No doubt that is, but how you will do that, how Indian socialism is to be achieved. So Indian socialism is that is the distribution of resources equally will not be done through Karl Marx rather it will be done through democratic socialism or Gandhian socialism. This is what do you mean by Gandhian socialism? When this is Gandhian socialism, that means it is the duty of the state to guarantee basic standards of life from the birth till death. Socialism is the duty to provide equality from birth till death. This is that Indian socialism is not like a Karl Marx socialism that you will snatch everything from the people and then distribute. They say is what the people have, you will not snatch that. So whatever the people are having, you cannot uh, take away them. Or that is why we say, so do, no doubt, Gandhian socialism talk about that state have, state have ownership in resources. So like, is uh, like we know example is like we know all the uh, properties of a state of waste into yeah we say all east state waste into state so jitni bhi properties hoti hai wo real ownership kiski hoti hai state ki hoti hai but can a state compel us to take away they want they have to pay uh, the compensation for that agar state development ki policy aati hai to whereas karl marx kya kehta hai karl marx kehta hai sab chheen lo you snatch everything and then distribute Whereas Gandhian socialism says, no, you cannot do this. Though the ownership lies in the resources, but our socialism does not only mean the ownership. 
rather it means the liability of a state to provide all the resources to every person without the compulsion theek hai so you cannot create compulsion theek hai have the ownership but you cannot take away resources through compulsion to so basically gandhian socialism baat karta hai removal of inequalities by the liabilities to gandhian socialism agar hum baat kare then it is the duty of state to remove inequalities theek hai that that means it is the duty of the state to distribute or to provide uh, securities of life to of the people so it is the duty of the state to provide securities for the life of the people from their birth till death for example ab main indian socialism ko samajhne ki koshish karunga agar aap indian socialism ko samajhne ki baat karenge to indian socialism ko samajhne ka sabse badhiya tarika kya hai let us start ki the word socialism can you see if you see the bear act ठीक है तो आई विल ट्राई टू गिव द आइडिया ऑफ इंडियन सोशलिज्म कि इंडियन सोशलिज्म गांधीयन सोशलिज्म है क्यों तो इफ यू ब्रिंग अप द आर्टिकल लेट अस ब्रिंग अप सम एग्जांपल्स एंड टेक आउट हाउ दिस इंडियन सोशलिज्म इज प्रेज्यूम्ड टू बी गांधीयन सोशलिज्म व्हाई नॉट सेक्युलर काल मार्क्स सोशलिज्म व्हाई वी आर वर्किंग अपॉन गांधीयन सोशलिज्म वेयर इज द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन गिविंग दिस आइडिया ऑफ गांधीयन सोशलिज्म तो इफ यू सी पार्ट 3 एंड पार्ट 4 that is uh, fundamental rights and dpsp fundamental rights and dpsps are the mirror of preamble or, mir- or preamble i will say preamble is the mirror of fundamental rights and uh, dpsp and if you try to find out the idea of socialism which i am telling you to jo aap logo ne socialism padha hai wo humne bhi padha hai aur hum sab ne sab padha hai ki generally socialism ka matlab hai ki uh, nationalization or industrialization of the state or uh, elimination of equality by the state but what is the process this process of indian socialism is very much unique in its nature ye har jagah nahi paya jata hai india is a unique in its nature to so we normally find karl marx where the state have authorities but indian socialism do have karl marx feature also i won't say but it is more towards स्क्रीन को रिसाइज कर दो स्क्रीन को रिसाइज करने का सेंस क्या स्क्रीन बढ़ा जा रहा है क्या आज अभी ठीक है चलिए व्हाट वाज आई वाज टेलिंग आई वाज टेलिंग इज दिस की our socialism is very much the idea of general meaning of the socialism is different but the idea of achieving that socialism is totally so the general meaning is very same as we have but the idea of achieving that socialism in india is very different so let us speak of some uh, articles and we we'll try to find out ki how this idea of socialism of gandhian socialism exist in india so let us speak of article 36 first let us speak the article 36 or i will say instead of 36 first of all we know the definition of state so we will go into uh, 38 first so 36 is the idea of state so what we know state what do you mean by state so 36 says it is the responsibility of a state so if you see a dpsp is a so i am talking about dpsp the so dpsp is a state obligation state obligations and this is how we see the idea so let us pick up the section 38 article 38 first if i say article 38 what is this this article 38 is saying article 38 is saying that the state shall strive the state shall strive to promote the welfare of people by securing and protecting 
as effectively as it may a social order in which justice social economic and political shall inform all the institution of national life this state shall in particular strive to minimize the inequalities in income and decay this is the duty of the state it is the duty of the state state to minimize inequalities of income and endeavor to eliminate inequalities of status endeavor to eliminate inequalities of status facilities and opportunities inequalities of facilities and opportunities not um, only amongst the individual but also amongst the group of people residing in different areas engaged in various professions dekhi this is the duty what is the duty has been under agar aap dekhenge to duty has been imposed upon the state that you should minimize the inequalities of income this is what we says uh, minimum wages act this is what we see minimum wages act this is how we achieve socialism the law has been framed for those people who are having labor class that some minimum wages are fixed so that they their inequalities of income can be maintained nowhere they have to if you see industrial law then we have never put upon the employers that you will give your share to this that you will this much of income will be given to the workers no rather what they have fixed they have employers have a free hand but employees have been given security through laws of minimum wages act insurance act protection of labor act child labor law this is how this is the idea of socialism this is how we achieve the socialism if you see endeavor to eliminate the inequalities of status this is here we we see the idea of uh labor law only we will if we pick up the example of labor law this is the where we see that these people have right to form their own union trade unions and through that they can bargain this is how the law allowed them in the labor law that you have right to form the unions and through your labor law and union you can represent your rights this is how we are eliminating we have never asked the employers that now to from next onwards this labor class will be sitting in your director room no samajh ke dekhna kisi bhi labor room mein directors room ke andar employers ko nahi employees ko nahi bitha diya le jaake what they have asked the labors that in order to represent yourself you may make trade unions you may make unions and through unions you can very well represent yourself this is how they have tried to eliminate the inequalities of status if you see the inequalities of facilities or opportunities i don't know which right my right or your rights theek okay. hai firstly this is similarly we see inequalities of facilities or opportunities so if you see uh, we make uh, for example facilities is a recent example uh, if you see the recent example a state is trying to provide food to all migrants and trying to food and facilities and shelters to all the migrants this is what this is the inequalities of facilities this is this is the inequalities of facilities which they are talking about so this is how uh, this state is doing uh, socialism this is gandhian socialism we are talking about not a karl marx socialism if you similarly pick up the example 
we see the example of uh, very good example will be 39 is also article 39 is also uh, idea of socialism so let us go to article 39 also we we'll read article 39 don't worry, I'm the idea of socialism ko explain kar Ki how this idea of socialism is existing. The thread of uh, this uh, thread of socialism is being thread uh, woven, woven in this uh, constitution, and the word socialist has to be interpreted in the line of article uh, this part three and part four. And if we interpret the uh, word socialism into the line of part three and part four, then we find that we are much more into the idea of socialism of Gandhian socialism than to the Karl Marx socialism. Both talk about removal of inequalities, no doubt. Both talk about that resources are of a state. Both talk about that it is the, it is the responsibility of a state to remove the inequalities. But the manner of removing the inequality is very much different. That uh, socialism of Karl Marx talk about compulsion, force, Whereas this idea of socialism is talk about distribution of resources through some mechanism, not by compulsion. It is much the obligation of a state. If you see Article 39, this says state shall in particular direct its policy towards securing that the citizen, man and woman equally have a right to an adequate means of livelihoods. Man and woman have adequate livelihood. If you say adequate livelihood, man and woman, Manrega scheme is the example of this. If you see scheme of Manrega, If you see the schemes that uh, Pradhan Mantri has recently launched about small entrepreneurs giving them uh, loans so that they can start up the startup schemes in India. This is how. Ah, Mudra Yojana is one of the examples. Mudra Yojana is the example exactly. So this, this is how we the state is providing uh, the adequate livelihood and this is how state is trying to distribute the resources. So this is how our socialism is working. If you see, if you see C, clause C. And this is very important. This is where the idea of Karl Marx has been written. That the operation of economic system does not result in the concentration of wealth. Result into wealth and means the production of common detriment. This is what the Karl Marx talk that there should not be concentration of wealth. We also talk about concern that there should not be a concentration of wealth, but we check on the concentration of wealth through tax. Then taxation is also taxation is also the idea of socialism. And that is why uh, the people with some particular class of uh, income are not allowed to give uh, income tax where a particular class of people are allowed some minimum in, uh, income tax but the upper class allow more income tax. this is how we are trying to protect the concentration of wealth and distribution of wealth among the people because all is coming back to us as a policy so taxation is also an idea of socialism that has has been achieved by our constitution targeted by our constitution And there are so many other examples also. This is how we achieve. Uh, there are so many, I can give you so many running examples. For example, if you see, uh, when I say the Gandhian socialism, when I say uh, the Gandhian socialism is socialism, 
socialism is the duty of a state to provide protection from birth till death of its citizen this is gandhian socialism it is the duty of the state to provide the protection so when i say from birth till death so let us speak how the indian socialism is working from birth till death jab se from cardinal to the grave jab se aap paida hue tab se leke marne tak jo aapko protection state deti hai jo resources aapko state provide kar rahi hai wo protection over resources jo hai na wo hai that is hai gandhian socialism for example if i take let us take up the example maternity relief maternity relief providing to a woman before birth to so we our our socialism go even before birth to so maternity relief ho gaye abortion law ho gaya protection of child in a womb these laws are the example these laws are the example that even before birth we try to protect the rights then if the child come child come into the world we see we see what we see few example that on birth this child is for example to see portion abhyan that is the mother and the child is being given some that the child is being given some protection through food and supplements anganwadis now to we see anganwadi schemes if you see uh, this uh, free injections to the child from the protection of different uh, disease free medical treatment to child up to particular age without its class cast or sex child ka cast class sex status usko dekhe bina sabko free of cost ek particular tikka karna milta hai Uh, that is the socialism we are doing for same if this child grown up free education up to the age of 0 to 6 in fundamental rights to the parents and 6 to uh, later on to free education in part 3 and part 4 mid day meal scheme mid day meal scheme all these are the examples all these are the example of mid day meal scheme so there are so many other examples when it this child when this child grows up then a right to employments theek hai to equal opportunities in employment equal opportunities in employment through employment through competitions to so apart from their status and everything you are free to give the competitions or as per education so nobody will going to stop you 
if you uh, if you belong belong to a uh, child of a particular person, that does not mean that the just child of a son, uh, judge will become a judge. It is not necessary. We have to go through a process. This is how we are doing. So every person who want to be a judge have to go through a process. This is how we are providing the socialism. Similarly, if we go to old age. If you go to the old age, the pension schemes is the idea. This is how we are just hold on. My screen is not working. Just hold on. I change the screen. And then so our constitution socialism is very much different from other constitution. So we work upon no doubt we tilt. We have the socialism in a form of nationalism also, but more into Gandhian and Nehruan socialism than Karl Marx socialism. We are not into a Karl Marx socialism. We are into the Gandhian or Nehru socialism. Actually, uh, how many people have understand this? Any person having any issue regarding understanding socialism? Because this way I am dictate karna karunga. I want to dictate upon this. Let's have a